beautiful people. Cancer, welcome to my channel in the Notaro 1122. All right, so this is going to be a you versus them, how your person is feeling about you and how you're feeling about them, and what's the outcome if we can get one, okay? All right, this will not resonate with everyone, so take what fits and leave the rest. If you like my vibe, hit subscribe. If you uh, <laughs> like how to get out with my readings, make sure you hit the like button, okay? And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Now, your girl appreciates you, okay? All right, so let's see. I'm sorry, I just got a text message that just came across my screen. It's pretty funny. All right, so, all right, let's see. So, Cancer, okay. All right. Uh oh, okay. So, all right, so this could be your side, Cancer. No, this is your person's side. This is your side, okay. All right, so, um, your person is desiring intimacy, sexual thoughts, sexual dreams, arousal. So, in other words, your person is very hot. And they're missing the loving, okay? And they're really, really wanting it like bad, bad, wet dreams and all, okay? This person also um, really loves you a lot. They want to marry you. This person envisions themselves actually being your spouse. However, um, they also feel that you're a toxic lover. They feel that, um, you know, you take advantage of them. You walk over this person. Um, there's a lot of jealousy here. Um this person feels like, you know, you may be possessive over them. They may be possessive over you. It could be a mutual thing. You guys could have some type of toxic connection here. Um, so, yeah, somebody feels like, you know, you're the person. This is weird. This person loves you, but they feel that you are very toxic. Okay. All right. Um, if you're not with this person, even if you are, this person goes through your pictures and stuff like that, memories and stuff like that. This person is actually all over your social media as well. Okay. So um, they go through old messages and, and things like that. I'm not sure if this is somebody that you're no longer with. Whoever this is, this person wants... Uh, yeah, love, marriage, kids, the garage, the dog, the everything, you know. Um, yeah. So, yeah, but they feel that you're toxic. So, okay, before we get into the tarot, I'm just curious. How do you feel about this person? Deep. How does cancer feel about this person? bottom of the deck you have longing you miss this person too oh lord jesus y'all got some stuff going on here honey yeah see there was a breakup here okay there was a breakup here there's going to be a cause for a compromise here with you guys okay so you're ready to compromise with this person you're missing this person um yeah you feel like this is actually your life partner soulmate this is somebody that you want to grow old with okay so both of you guys are wanting each other, but somebody is controlling here, overbearing, okay? And they want to run the whole relationship, and this is not working with this person. This is causing conflict in this relationship, so somebody wants to compromise. Yeah, see, look, you got the, what is this, the, the Six of Swords in reverse. You want to work together with this person. You don't want to leave this behind. You're not willing to walk away from this. You look at this person as husband material, wife material. I'm thinking that this is this is somebody looking at you as husband material, somebody stable. They have a lot of love for you. However, they do not share it. There's a lot of competition here. That's why a lot of arguing, heated arguments or whatever, possibly about third-party situations. I don't know. But there's going to be communication coming in regarding this situation here, the stability, what they want, the foundation. The marriage, the dog. All right, let's see. All right, so you have the wheel here. There's a cycle that's getting ready to close out. There's devil here. There's some type of um, definitely sexual connection, but there's some type of 
I won't say obsession, but there is some type of, of, of bond here, okay? Absolutely. Definitely a bond. This is somebody that you might have um, decided to kind of push yourself back from this person. You know, focus on your own thing. This person feels like you abandoned them, left them out in the cold, possibly penniless. Yes, there was definitely an end with this with the death card and the lovers. Absolutely. Yeah, somebody, it whoever walked away from this relationship, it wasn't easy for them to do. It took them a lot of courage, a lot of strength to, to gather up the nerve to do this, you know, because this is somebody that they really care about. But somebody left the situation to focus on themselves, and this person sees that you're, you know, you weren't playing. You walked away. Move forward. Try to balance your life out, your emotions, because your heart was broken. Yeah. So now you got decisions to make because you have people coming towards you now. You have a page of wands that wants to come in with an offer. You got the page of swords. Somebody's watching, stalking, possibly this person here. Yes. And somebody wants to four of wands with you as well. Wow, this is crazy. Yeah. Let's see. What else? So pretty much you got an ex that wants to come back. Somebody that learned some, some karmic lessons here, which is really, really weird because um, Cancer, your reading is, is pretty much a lot like Scorpio. Damn near identical. Let's see. If I didn't know no better, I was talking to your, your partner. Okay. All right. So, yeah, King of Wands. This person has a lot of emotions for you. They're not showing you, not telling you, but they're ready to reveal this, their feelings for you. Okay. They're very passionate about you. That's that connection right there. <laughs> yeah. There's a deep sexual bond there too. Absolutely. This person has been trying to manifest you too. I do apologize. You guys and my dogs start barking. Hey, no, lay down. You have the page of cups here. So somebody possibly wants to come in and offer some type of apology. They want to come in and communicate really, really quick, swiftly, tell you what's up on it. You know, this person, I'm getting this person has been getting kind of impatient about, you know, trying to get this back together. This person is trying to come back in quick. You don't see how <laughs> I got stealth, stealthily that this person is trying to come back in. Yeah. They're definitely trying to come back in. This person has seen that, you know. I've seen the light. Okay. I've seen the light. Cancer's my person. I want to move forward to Cancer. Cancer, how are you feeling about this person? You talking real quick. Oh, so you could, oh, 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 shit. Okay, so um, the feeling is mutual. Okay. The feeling is deaf. Mm. You two need to quit. You got the devil here and the devil here. Okay. This person, both you guys are playing with each other, manipulating each other, stringing each other along, doing whatever it is that you got. But both of you guys are wrapped around each other's fingers pretty much. And both of you guys got a lot of love for each other. I don't mean to put it like that, but this is for some specific people, specific couple. You want stability with this person. You want loyalty with this person. Same thing that this person wants here. But somebody's trying to control this relationship, this toxic lover here. They won't just chill. Yeah, see? Somebody wants to get this pinnacle right here. You want stability. <laughs> but see, you know what? Somebody's also coming in as a page, too. They're coming in. They got full of love. Full of love. Heart full of love. This queen of cups. Yes, that love is there. But when it comes to the offer, it's a page of pinnacles. Hmm. For now. Okay, because I do see this person coming up, stepping up as a knight later on, okay? This person's got some decisions to make. They're probably trying to figure out, should I come forward towards you? Cancer, are you trying to figure out if you should go towards this person again after a breakup? You already know you want to travel towards this person. I don't know who this is for. This is definitely not for everybody, but somebody actually wants this person back. You're moving slowly towards it, but there are some things that's got you stuck about the situation. You're moving slowly towards this person. 
Yeah, it's gonna come together. You're gonna balance it out. What did I say? You moving towards it, it's gonna balance out, sweetheart. Yeah. You about to have this right back, right back. Compromise is key. Yeah, both of you guys want each other. Both of you guys love each other. So a quick plan. Alright. Not like that, but I'm just saying. It is what it is. Yeah, both of you got look, both of you guys got so much passion for each other. So much passion for each other. Yeah. The <laughs> devil. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That sexual chemistry is off the chain. Off the chain is everything else that has the problem. So that's what, what needs to be fixed. What's the outcome? The sign. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so you guys are holding on to each other. Okay? Holding on to each other. You know damn well that this person makes you happy. Okay? You're holding on to both of each other. Both of you guys are holding on to each other. You're not letting go. The Emperor. Hmm. What did I say? Both of you guys want a solid foundation, stability, marriage, magician. Both of you guys are trying to manifest this. Look at this. Both are trying to manifest this. Four of Swords. Wow. Both of you guys are in your head about this situation. Overwhelmed. Keeping to yourself. Not really speaking upon what you want. Somebody needs to open up here and speak. And, and be truthful about it. Yeah. Yeah. See. Need to walk away from all the drama. Conflict. The lies. The scheming. You know what I'm saying? The sneakiness. All of this other stuff. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Put this stuff away. Make a decision. There is going to be some type of tower here where there's going to be some type of truth and clarity that's going to come through. And, uh, yeah, this Queen of Wands is actually going to go for what she wants. And I do believe that is going to be uh, possibly your person. Um, Cancer, I don't know if it's going to be you. You might. It could be either one of you. You got the King of Wands over here and the Knight of Wands. You got the King of Wands over here and the Queen of Wands over here. So like I said, you guys are pretty much both wanting each other. I think you're going to get back together, bring it together. Who's going to initiate it? I don't know. But it kind of seems like it might be mutual. Yeah, both of you got, yes, look, you got the Ace of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Moon. Yeah, so anything that was hidden between you guys, all those emotions or whatever, illusions or whatever, you know, acting, when I say illusion, somebody here is putting on the front like they really don't care, and they do a lot, a lot. So, um, yeah, all of that is going to be brought out, and I think you guys are actually going to get together, and I think this is going to be pretty good. All right, brand new start. Brand new start, and I think it'll be pretty prosperous between you guys, okay? If you can just get past some of the thing and somebody can, you know, possibly do the real work and really be serious about this and not try to be so controlling over the situation, okay? All right, but that's what I have for y'all. You guys have a good night. I'm done for the day.